In the new version of Visual Builder Studio, we introduced the concept of dynamically creating and adding parameters to a build job. Let's see how this works. Over here, we have a project with a Git repository. And in this Git repository, I have a file. And this file contains values of parameter name and the parameter value. Okay, So I defined parameter 1 and parameter 2 inside this file. Now this file is part of the Git, therefore you can manage it and modify it and just check it into the Git repository. Then you can use this file to dynamically create those parameters as parameters in your build job. So let's go over to our build jobs and we have a build job um, called get params. And let's look at the configuration of this build job. So this build job connects to the Git repository. Okay, where the file exists. We don't have any parameters defined for this job, but in a before build step, we use the step called add parameter list to add the parameters from the file we have in our Git repository. Okay, so we just specify the name of the files here. Now, once we do this, those P1 and P2 would be available for us in this build job. And we can then use them in our build steps. For example, if we'll do echo of P1 and P2, we should see the values that are coming from the file. Then we're doing one more thing. We're actually taking those two values and putting them into a file called pass.txt. And we're also creating another file where we define parameter 4. Okay, um, this is going to have the value new param. So we're creating another parameter file as part of the job. And those two things are things we're going to use in an after build step. Again, in a couple of new build steps that we have here, uh, which are export parameter and export parameter list build jobs or build steps. So the export parameter, for example, says we're going to define a new parameter. Uh, we'll call it P3, and the value is going to come from a file, and this is the file that we're dynamically creating in our shell script. Now, this is going to be a password, so we're also marking it as sensitive, therefore it would not show up in our uh, build logs. The other approach we can take is we can export a set of parameters simply by using the export parameter list and pointing to, again, a file where we have those value uh, those parameter names uh, along with a value. So those are the things we did in this uh, build job called get params. And then we have this build job as part of a pipeline. Okay, so let's start the pipeline over here. And you would see that we're running the get params and then we're going to run the params part two. So let me show you the params part two configuration. Again, this time we are not connecting to the Git. We also don't have parameters predefined. Um, but um, in the steps here, we're going to echo each one of the parameters that we defined in the first step of our pipeline. So all of those are supposed to be available for us over here when we run this job, when it's part of the pipeline. So let's go back to the pipeline. Okay, and we can see both um, jobs finished. Let's look at the log for the first job. So the first thing you can see here is we are reporting the values of the parameters we're using. Okay, we have P1, P2, P3, and P4. If you look at the build log, okay, we added P1 and P2 because we read them from the file from the Git repository. Okay, and then we exported P3 and P4. You can see that P3, we marked it as a sensitive information. Therefore, you're not actually seeing the value that we're exporting. So now we have P1 to P4 as parameters. And those are all available for us in our pipeline. So if we look at the run of the second job, again, we can see all the parameters available here. And if we Look at the log where we echo each one of them. Okay, you can see we echo each one of the values. The password is still hidden and the last parameter is the new param value. So in this way, you can dynamically add and use parameters 
in your build jobs in Visual Builder Studio.